Heart disease, such as valvular regurgitation or even atrial fibrillation, can be referred to as primary or secondary. Mitral regurgitation is one of the most common conditions we see in our canine patients, so let's take this as our example. If mitral regurgitation is primary, then the disease is affecting the valve leaflets themselves. An example is myxomatous valve disease. Nothing else has caused the valve to be myxomatous except myxomatous valve disease. There is no other cause. It is the primary cause. If mitral regurgitation is secondary, it's leaking because of a cause outside of the valve itself. The valve might actually be structurally normal. An example of this is dilated cardiomyopathy. With a dilated left ventricle, left atrium 2, then the annulus is stretched and the valve leaflets no longer meet together during systole. This will cause a leak, which is actually due to the stretched annulus, not due to any problem with the valve leaflets themselves. Another word for this is functional regurgitation.